Okay, so this is the on-off test. I already know under auto it's doing the same thing, so I'm just going to show you what it does in off. This is what it's also doing during auto if you if you get to an off time. Um, so if I set this to off and save it, it takes a minute for the readers to the power cycle. Uh, but once the power cycles once the power cycle is complete, you'll see that the left-hand reader will say store closed, but the right-hand reader will continue, continue to say credit zero and will accept credits. It just takes a minute for it to pop up here. This usually takes a couple minutes for it to go ahead and cycle. takes anywhere from two to three minutes for all the readers to reset. Okay, the DR-495 on the left is resetting now. All right, it comes up, says store closed, do not swipe your card. The reader on the right, once it resets, is gonna come back up just as it is. Okay, it's resetting now, like it's gonna go ahead and do it. comes back up is credit zero and the card will still work on it um, so there's definitely an issue with the 400s and but the dr 495s work fine uh, switching switching the game mode back to on or auto the reader will turn the reader will turn back on both readers will reset but you know like I said the the dr 400 it always says credits it'll always say the credits and the amount it says credit zero because it's a test reader. Um, and swiping the card works. On this one here, it switches on and off like it's supposed to. The DR450 does the same thing as the DR400s where it'll cycle, but it'll still show the price. It won't stay, say store closed. 